Cock and bow. That's a true story. <laughs> now we've all been there with our pals, having a few pints, enjoying ourselves, then bosh, the absolute cock and ball stories come out from their mouths. Well, did you know these stories originate from these pubs right here? Legend has it that coaches would travel from London to Birmingham and they would stop at these two inns, one called the cock, the other called the ball, and exchange mad and crazy stories amongst pints of beer. Now, you know me, I'm a known storyteller, but you won't catch me trying to make things up to get a few cheap laughs or make myself look better. And that is why I'm going to go back to my local pub being the first to trial the cock and ball detector before I put my friends to the test. My name is Jason. I'm a behavioural expert commissioned to create the cock and ball detector. We designed the machine so that pub goers can get to the bottom of their friends' exaggerated tales. You're looking a little bit nervous. <sighs> Listen, mate, I don't get nervous. That's why I'm starting to get a bit shaky. <laughs> so I've rung up Lord Sugar and I've gone, Shugs, I've got an idea. Dino's calf all over the UK, it'll be powerful. And he pinged me over a million quid just to get the job going. That's a cock and ball. <laughs> so I'm up in Soho with Ryland on the beers, group of lads walking down the street. They've come steaming over, give Ryland the phone and said, take a picture with us and Tom Skinner, he's a legend. Bosh! And he was fuming. He's telling the truth. <laughs> Bosh! See, I told you lot, never doubt Tommy boy. Right, it's one of your lot's turn now. Make sure you and your pals slip down your local and separate the cock from the ball. <laughs> <laughs>